You live here? Yes. Well, maybe you know what a zombie is. When a person dies and is buried, it seems a certain voodoo priest who, who have the power to bring him back to life. Horrible. It's worse than horrible because a zombie has no will of his own. You see them sometimes, walking around blindly with dead eyes, following orders, not knowing what they do, not caring. You mean like Democrats? We sent a mission. We sent a mission up to the uh, Pop Zork in WW, and uh, we got ourselves a uh, complete spread in this. It has uh, a double page internal spread of photographs. Taken by the only uh, and uh, you will notice that uh, the pictures there are actually posed by Sea Org members. Uh, they are not in actual fact the first class being school. And that's because you were all so very, very busy that day. And uh, the AOs are represented here. Class 8 auditor's course begins at AOs. But that is quite a, that is quite a, uh, an action. A rather typical Sea Org action, actually. We banged it together, organized the whole shoot. Uh, got a mission era, got it off and presses. It will be, it will be out and released in England and something on the order of about two weeks from this day. And uh, it will be over in America in three or four weeks. And uh, it says here that as you read this, why Class 8 will be supervising cases in your uh, nearest org. So it looks like you guys are very well advertised. Very, very well advertised. I'm sure you'll make a grade. There's the action here is uh, you have to get reality on what standard tech will do uh, and uh, what you can do with it and uh, which way it goes and so on. Oh, which is very easy. Okay. Exact somatic when contacted again. 
work. If the message is available, you can do a contact assist. And it is a very easy thing to do. There are RDA commands involved with the less you say, the better off you are. Your whole object is simply to get to go and put his stuff to shit uh, up against the lawnmower. Uh, or if he did it, he didn't make him do that, and touch it again, and touch it again, and touch it again, and touch it again. I must tell you something about this. Uh, when you come up to scale as a monitor, you can actually see if some actually goes through. Now, some of you will be looking for a painted picture. Uh, eight feet square. It is not that. It is simply a very faint, very faint, faint impression. And you can actually see a sort of faint impression go through the PC. You know the schematic has gone through the PC. Also, it has existed by station heat tensions at this moment and so on. Now, I must say something about a contact system. The uh, object being to get him to go up and touch his chin against the lawnmower uh, is all very well. But if you force him to go up there, he gets the same as forcing him to be, which is very, very bad indeed. And the funny part is that you do this on a great He doesn't want to come nearer than 100 feet from that damn lawnmower. You actually find it as a child. He doesn't suppose he will come to it. We can make him do a contact to his position and his body has by 100 feet. And you gradually, by gradient, narrow the distance to it. By gradient, then he's willing to approach it. And then you can go up and do a contact to this point. And I probably do not generally know that you must drag the person up there forcibly. Because you don't do it all the time. Now, a touch assist is the next way of assisting. And a touch assist uh, is with the command, which you don't articulate any more than you have to. The PC gets the idea that he shortly uh, you're touching him with your finger, and he's supposed to feel the finger, and uh, then signify that he has felt the finger. After a few commands, you find out that when you touch him, he will give you a blink or a nod, or some representation. You do not want the verbalization to have that particular time and simply continue to do the touching. You continue to talk about your weight more and sweet knowledge. It's rather hard to do if a uh, person is only semi-conscious and uh, you try to maintain the communication cycle. It all depends on what part of the body is injured, uh, what uh, you do with this contact with this. Uh, the contact assist. The most uh, difficult area to do a contact assist on is the head. And, uh, uh, the head, uh, and the nerve system of the body is a pain cushion. It is a pain absorption cushion. And, uh, any electric shock caused by pain distributes itself throughout the neurons of the body. And you'll find out there was a wave of shock which went, from the hit head, that went all the way from the head down through the nerve channels and the electrical, uh, you can even measure the speed of an electrical impulse through the nerve channels. It has to be 10 feet second. Uh, but it went from there, and the shock wave straight down through the nerve channels, which go through the spine, and there's about a dozen or all something like that through the spine, and it goes to the extremities of the body. So you will find a person with that head injury normally has something wrong with his spine afterwards. And that's because the shock wave is locked up in his spine. So your touch assist should include going from the head to the extremities of the body. Now if you're just kind of getting back on your feet or your feet or something like that, you're not going to go uh, to the close of his feet and try to do a super, super thorough job of it. Because later on you're going to run it out of the next round problem. That's the thing that I'm calling your attention is that uh, it does go into the expanded of the body, so your consciousness is not just around the head. And you have to approach the injury, go away from the injury, approach the injury, go away from the injury, approach the injury closer, go away from the injury further, approach the injury closer, go away from it further, approach the injury closer, go away from it further, approach the injury to a point where you're actually touching the injured part, go away further, and when you're going away and coming up, you try to follow the nerve 